to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever it is you today, and welcome to, welcome back to the Ultimate Dreamcatcher Ranking, where I go from beginning to most recent, in their official Sophie song by song, give my thoughts and put into a list of most favourite to least favourite, which looks like it does in the pinned comment. Uh, oh, how am I over a breath? How am I out of breath? That doesn't make much sense. Um, but anyway guys, yeah, pinned comment is the story so far, uh, and then, as I said in the last episode, when I rank, you will see where it goes on screen. Um, but at any point in the video, you want to check out the story so far, the list so far, head over to the pinned comment. Right, anyway, this is New Days. I have here this live. That is all I'll say for now. Uh, but anyway, this is New Days. And when I say live, I mean in person. One of the last songs I think they did actually on the show. And it was fit then. Back and forth. Okay, on. Seven vocalists, guys, seven singers. I love the back and forth. I love this right, I love this Sammy part here. The flow gets a bit quicker, and then the beat gets a bit quicker too. Does the guitar come back in? I love the back and forth of this song. I love the back and forth so much, dude. Oh, the, the, the layer in there, love it. Here we The production on this song is so damn good. It's so damn good. It's kind of like similar to, not not as the song, but what I said about Full Memory. Uh, I I when there's that back and forth, that quick back and forth, someone singing goes to the next person, back to the other person. The that back and forth quickly. I'm a sucker for that. Like, and it's not just for Dreamcatcher. Other groups have done it as well. It just I'm, it's like a cheat code for me. I just love it. And this is as far as when that is done might be my favorite. Uh, song where that is done off the top. No, well, there's others. There are others, but it's one of my favorites, guys. Uh, that has that sort of element to it. And what I love with that song is that it's very upbeat, right? Very upbeat, very light. Um, I mean, 
like it's, there's there's a light feel into it, but it's very upbeat, got a lot of energy to it. But what I love is that it's not just that one pace because I mentioned that before. Um, some of my least favorite Dreamcatcher songs tend to be the ones that are kind of like quick paced, but all quick paced, with no ebbs and flows. This one is quick paced, it's upbeat, but it does have ebbs and flows. And there's so many moments like like for example the ra the dummy section where the music is slowed down a little bit, brought back up. There's elements like the of the instrumental taken out, like the guitars, they're put back in. And it really just emphasizes and, emphasizes and Im creates a bigger impact for moments in the song. Um, their vocals, I mean... <sighs> Dreamcatcher, guys, seven singers. But to have those vo great vocal parts, because I think if this song was given to another group, It'd still be a really good song, but the fact that you've got these ladies doing it takes it to another level. Um, yeah, I love what I love with this mini album as well is that I feel like Gaion gets a lot of a lot of great parts as well. Um, but like you know, you, you just get reminded like Yu Yeon singing, Han Dong singing, Sua singing. Like Sua is Sua is a beast, guys. Like any time I think of. Like, my introduction to the roles in K-pop was, of course, Dreamcatcher. Um, and I heard the term Ace. And when I heard what the term Ace was, I was like, oh, Sua. It's like Sua. Because she's just, she's just a beast. She's an insane, insanely talented, multi-talented. Uh, but yeah, the, like, the, the Dami section was amazing. I loved how that bridge built, built, built. And it was that moment where it felt like it was going to drop, but it took a second. Then it dropped. Those hesitation drops always get me. And the fact that it was, uh, there was the companion to it was a Xion high note, a classic Xion high note and belt. Uh, this song's great. <laughs> this song's great is what I'm saying, guys. Now, looking at my list, um, I'm not checking Instagram when I do this, guys. I promise you, it's just a new way of me editing the list as we go, and it's far easier, I have to say. I'm going to start from top to bottom with that one. Um, it may take a bit of a journey, but... It's a dream, it's a dream catcher's discography, guys. Do you know what I mean? They're they're kind of all winners. Um, I would not put above Deja Vu, Break the Wall, Silent Night, Booker, Scream, Odd Eye, Pity, Red Sun, Breaking Out, Black or White, Can't Get You Out of My Mind, Wonderland, What, Poison Love, Paradise, Jazz Bar, uh, Endless Night, Sahara, Trap, and There Was No One Left, You and I, Wind Blows. I am starting to slow down. July 7th. Sleepwalking, In the Frozen, now I'm really starting to slow down. Yeah, that's where it goes, guys. It's going above Good Night and below In the Frozen. Uh, it's very close to In the Frozen, though, I'll say that for me. Uh, very close. Kind of a bit of, bit of a coin flip when it comes to uh, those two in some ways for me. Um, but yeah, it's like looking at this list now, right? Let, let, let me let me talk about this later. Oh, that's, oh, that was the 50th song. Um, I miss you. I'm not big on it. Uh, I'd I'd be I'd be fine if I don't listen to that song again. To be totally honest, it just didn't work for me. Um, if you if you like it, great. Music is subjective. It just doesn't work for me. That for me, like, it's okay. I miss you. It's just not my style. There is still, of course, a song I've been teasing since the beginning, which, because uh, I Miss You, I experienced during the ranking series. I'd not heard it before. That was like, I think one or two songs from Dreamcatcher that before this ranking I had not heard before. Um, I Miss You is okay for me. Um, the song, which I'm not going to reveal still, that is the only song from Dreamcatcher that I straight up do not like. I'll just say it, I'll just say it, yeah, straight up do not like it. That's still to come, <laughs> that song. Uh, it's still to come. Uh, people may, with no, getting to know my style more and more, uh, and to know what sort of genres I like, even though there's so many genres I like, or uh, let's say the genres I don't like is a big clue to it. Um, that's still on the way. Uh, other than that, like I Miss You is okay. There's that song that's on the way, which I, I just do not like. Um, but Wake Up which is in the 49th position, uh, up. Because I do like Wake Up. I, from 49 to number one, like to absolutely adore 
49 songs. Can you just think about that in a discography? 49 songs are winners for me. And some of them being winners for me. That's impressive. That's impressive. And again, we've only got one song so far that I'm just... I'll, I'll, I've given her a few chances I'll never like. But again, more on that in the future. I will be kind to it when we get there, by the way, guys, because, of course, I love these ladies. I want to support them, but, of course, I want to be honest at the same time. But I will be honest in that, in that episode. But again, that's for the future. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, new days. Really enjoy it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. That gave me a great idea. You want to see more Dreamcatcher on the channel? Uh, this is a great, like final few songs in their concert not only for when i checked them out but i think they do like to do this one near the end because it is so uplifting there's so much energy to it uh but yeah let me know what you think of it where does it go in your list so far and please subscribe because plenty of dreamcatcher on the channel already in the dreamcatcher reactions playlist plenty more on the way hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day morning afternoon night whenever you're watching this please take care much love